What do I keep telling you about those teachers? What do I keep telling you about these teachers, man? Hmm. So I'm going to read the description before I let you see the video. So here, a 39-year-old South Florida elementary school teacher was arrested after violating a student and allegedly kissing her so hard it left a hickey. Reports say the minor informed authorities that on multiple occasions, Smith would pull her into a closet and kiss her as well as force her to touch Smith inappropriately. According to the arrest report, the student who was between 12 and 16 was documented skipping gym class for weeks to spend time with Smith. Smith admitted to developing a maternal relationship with the student and also admitted to kissing her on school grounds. According to the school district, Smith has been reassigned away from the school and students pending the outcome of the case. So it's interesting. They basically just read. They didn't, didn't have her locked up. It looks like I don't know. Well, let's well, well let's watch the video before I even say anything, because I just saw this right now. Felicia Smith may have been smiling in her booking photo, but the accusations against her are no laughing matter. A teacher kissed the juvenile on the cheek to the point where a hickey caused by sucking on the skin was left and clearly visible. But things only escalated to the attention of police because of the alert persistence from the girl's relatives. The family members noticed that there was something that didn't sit right with them. They noticed there were markings on the student and they continued to ask questions. Initially, we're told the girl lied about the marks, saying it was from a football that hit her neck. Cops say she eventually changed her story to reveal the inappropriate relationship that also involved vulgar acts. She may not enter any school campus. Smith was a no-show for bond court today, but faces two criminal counts of lewd and lascivious molestation and lewd and lascivious battery. The incidents happened on school grounds. Felicia Smith may have been smiling in her booking photo, that's sick. That's sick. You know, and um, I don't understand. You know, and I and I hope these these weirdo ninjas sometimes that be in the comments talk about. I wish that happened to me when I. Because now what you gonna what what you guys are gonna have to start standing on is because when because like I said these pe these people are predators. These people are predators now. Once it happens to your daughter, because lesbians are very are more than capable of being predators as well it's not just relegated to uh one faction one demographic of people they're spread out everywhere you know what i mean <laughs> when i say that so it happens to your daughter you better keep that same energy because i'm telling you the, the predators are everywhere and i always say the teachers a lot of them have been doing this for a long time uh, particularly female teachers the problem is I believe in the past, I think uh, there were a lot of female teachers doing that too. It's just the people weren't telling. Now I believe in this day and age where you have one woman refusing to grow up, no matter how old they are, they still feel like they're a teenager. I'm talking about, they could be 38 years old. <laughs> they, they still think that they're a teenager for some weird, like they think that they're that age. Like I've, sh I've shown you videos of women still saying like, you know, I know I'm 30, but I still feel like I'm 16. I don't know. I'm, and now I always said that was weird to me because I already know if a man, were, a man was saying stuff like this and he was a coach, a teacher or some kind of judo instructor where he's dealing with, 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 with young girls and young boys, they'll be calling him a weirdo. But for some reason, female teachers can make TikToks about this shit and just nobody thinks nothing of it. So let's replay this video one more time, only because... Oh, but the accusations against her are no laughing matter. A teacher kissed the juvenile. I want to see, because I, I, I must have missed a part. I don't know if she got released on bail, re released or, or something, but they said that they just re reassigned her away. Like, 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 you know how, like, when those Catholic priests back in the day got caught with these boys and they didn't even get locked up, they just reassigned them to, they just moved them to, like, another... Uh, 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 district, an another cathedral, like nothing happened, even though he he did like some something very heinous. 
but they just reassign them. Uh, I think this is this might be a similar situation. On the cheek to the point where a hickey caused by sucking on the skin was left and clearly visible. But things only escalated to the attention of police because of the alert persistence from the girl's relatives. The family members noticed that there was something that didn't sit right with them. They noticed there were markings on the student and they continued to ask questions. Initially, we're told the girl shout out to that uh the young lady's family for really trying to see what the hell is going on with this a lie about them. like i said you got you guys got to be especially if you you're putting your when you're putting your your kids in public school and you're not getting a, and, and and you're not getting a good read on what kind of teacher she got she, or he or she has you're putting your kid at risk the marks saying it was from a football that hit her neck cops say she eventually changed her story to reveal the inappropriate relationship that also involved vulgar acts she may not enter any school campus smith was a no-show for bond court today but faces two criminal counts of loot and she was a no-show <laughs> lascivious molestation and loot and lascivious battery the incidents happened on school grounds felicia smith a no show interesting let's see if we have any more information on that on this case let's see if we have we need we need a little bit more information on this case what's her name again felicia smith hmm. Hmm. yep so yep so right here so broward middle school's teacher released from jail released after molesting a kid <laughs> this is crazy this is this is insane after molesting a kid she's just released in jail they're just re reassigning her and on top of that she was a no-show for court we a maternal saying a maternal relationship what the hell This is crazy, man. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Facing counts of lewd and lascivious molestation and lewd and lascivious, uh, uh, lascivious uh, battery. Smith will be tracked by a GPS monitor and cannot go to the school or be anywhere close to the victim. <laughs> man, this is this is crazy, bro. Anyway, I always told you guys, because especially now in this day and age where you have, like I said, you can't like, I because now you can't, it's not just high schools, it's, all, it's also middle schools as well. You got to watch even elementary because they said that she was an elementary teacher. And I guess the student that she was, uh, that, that she was messing with trying to, uh, trying to uh, get intimate with was between, the, between the ages of 12 and 16. So you got to, yeah, so you, so you got, you guys got to, you guys got to watch out out there.